Hi guys and welcome to today's video. In this video I'll be talking about my favourite art supplies of 2016. All of these art supplies I have received or uh, bought in 2016. Um, all of my opinions are my own. I'm not being paid by any company or sponsored in any way so you'll know that these opinions are my own and completely honest. So they're not in, in, in sorry, um, these are not in any particular order. So the first one I'm showing you are Prismacolor Premieres, this is a 72 set. These are great pencils, they are fairly uh, cheap for their quality. I bought these for £34 off of Amazon, um, I believe they are on Amazon for $36 on the US site. Definitely worth their money, um, although I already had these, which was a birthday present. Um, these are Faber Castell uh, Polychromos colour pencils, this is my 60 set. Um, I love these pencils, I really like using them um, together with my uh, Prismacolor Premieres. I also like to use them with um, odourless mineral, mineral spirits or paint thinners to help blend them together. So those are my first two favourites. My next favourite are more colour pencils. They are the Prismacolor Color Rays colour pencils. I love to use these for um, doing uh, rudimentary sketches for pet portraits or wildlife drawings, that sort of thing. The excellent thing about them is that when you paint over top of them, because of you can choose what colour you want to draw in, the lines almost completely disappear. Instead of, say, for example, if you're using a graphite pencil and uh, painted or coloured on top of them with a light colour, you might see the graphite underneath. Uh, I haven't used the colour so much, but I definitely have used the um, more earth, earthy tones. More like um, Tuscan Red. Brown I've used quite a lot. The grey, the black, and terracotta. So I bought the 24 set because it wasn't that much more expensive than the 12 set on Amazon. Sorry. Loud noises. I find that they raise very well. Um, almost as well as graphite. You have to be careful with how sharp you get the nibs um, or the, the leads. And just like graphite, you don't want to press too hard on this paper because you can mark the paper. But other than that, I really like them. My next favourite is the Tombow Mono Eraser. This is the 2.3mm size. This is perfect for um, using to erase really fine small areas like um, highlights, whiskers, cleaning up edges, that sort of thing. I rarely do a portrait or um, pencil piece without using one of these. I also have two refills. I received this as a present in July or August. It was around the time of my birthday. Um, and I haven't even used the first, used up the first um, eraser in it. So it definitely the work. It definitely lasts for quite a long time if you if you use it carefully. You certainly don't want to be using it to erase large areas. This is another one of my favourites. This is the Caran d'Ache Luminance Pencil in White. Similarly to the, um, the eraser, I use it for uh, cleaning up edges, um, highlights, whiskers, um, those sort of things. It is a wax-based pencil and layers very well on top of my polychromos and prism colours. Um, it's quite an expensive pencil, I think it's one of the most expensive pencils on the market. Uh, so that's why I only have one of them. Also, like the Caran d'Ache Luminance White and my Tombow Mono Eraser, I like to use these uh, Uni Posca paint markers in white. I got this one first. I wasn't aware that there was a smaller size than this. This is 0.7 millimeters, but it's a bullet-shaped um, nib. This one is also 0.7 millimeters, but it's a pin-type nib. Let me just show you the difference. Um, 
you can get a same size line with this one but you have to be uh, very steady with your hand and use a very light touch. I definitely prefer this one for uh, really small fine areas like whiskers, hair, that sort of thing. As far as I'm aware they contain the same amount of ink even though the barrel size is slightly different. Those were also from Amazon. I buy most of my art supplies online from Amazon. These are my two favourite mechan mechanical pencils. I have um, tried the cheaper ones before, the ones that have a, a brightly coloured, usually uh, plastic barrel. This one wasn't from 2016 though, this one's um, one that I received a long time ago. And I wanted to replace it because you might be able to tell the uh, grip has started to perish. I'm not sure if that's just age or perhaps overuse or <laughs> lots of love. Um, so I received this mechanical pencil, the Pentel 120A3DX in 0.5. This one's 0.7. I think I prefer the 0.5 size because of I prefer the finer lead. But it does mean that it will um, snap a little bit more often if you're not careful. Those are my two favourite mechanical pencils. This is possibly my favourite thing out of this whole year, simply because I've used it the most out of everything because it's a sketchbook, but um, it has inspired me to do so much art that I wouldn't have done otherwise. It's made me experiment and play around with new mediums. It's the um, Canson art book, uh, mixed media pad, and it has 224 grams per metre square paper in it, so it's quite a durable hefty kind of paper on one side on one side it is um, a rough or a medium grain texture and on the other side it is um, find a page I haven't okay. it's a fine grain grain paper it takes well to wet mediums you might tell that the paper does warp a little bit but if you put, put it under some heavy books or something, then um, it flattens out quite nicely. This I bought from a local art store for 134 kroner, which is roughly 14 pounds, or I guess or something like 18 dollars. I'm not sure, but um, you can get it for a similar price on Amazon, 14 pounds. I'll definitely buy, be buying that one again once I've finished up my sketchbook. On to the last couple of items now. This is the KUM or KUM automatic long point sharpener. It has two holes and um, the sharpener, uh, you put your pencil in the first hole and that cuts down the wood portion of the pencil and the second hole sharpens the lead portion and it creates a really long uh, fine point on your pencil. Let me, let me show you. So here we have Prismacolor light blue um, colour raised pencil. So it's primarily shaping down the wood on this part. I'm not sure, there's a, you can see that there's a stop at the end here. So once your lead touches that, you will not be able to sharpen anymore. So it looks like that to start off with. And then on this side, it sharpens the lead. There we go. This is excellent for high detail drawings. Um, I'll probably wear this lead down before a little bit before drawing because I know that that will scratch the paper because of um, these pencils are quite hard. But this is a perfect sharpener. I don't usually um, make the point this this sharp on any pencil. But it's handy to be able to do that. This pen this pencil sharpener was relatively inexpensive. It was I think 39 kroner which is about four pounds um, and you'll find cheaper or sorry you'll find um, poorer quality pencil sharpeners for a similar similar price. What I really like about this pencil sharpener 
is it, it comes with a set of spare blades. So once these are starting to dull down, you can easily replace them with a small uh, crosshead screwdriver and you'll have essentially a brand new sharpener again. So once I've used my spare blades and they're dull, I will definitely be buying this pencil sharpener again. It's the best one I've used. And um, finally, in a tin of Quality Street, I have my Winsor & Newton drawing inks. I bought these three relatively cheaply from my local art store and I really liked them so for Christmas I asked for one of the um, the variety sets that they sell. I think this one was a William set. It comes with eight colours and I really like them. They're fun to experiment with and to play around with. They are not light fast but um, that's just because they're dye based but because they're dye based they are very vibrant and uh, lovely colours to look at. I'll be doing a, rev a review on these shortly, so um, stay tuned for that. And that is all. Thank you very much for watching. If you're interested in any of these products that I mentioned, I will leave uh, their description and a link to something like Amazon in uh, this, the description box below. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.